Dana. I don't know what's scary, the fact that Dad knows how to work his phone, or he knows how to edit things on his phone. <laughs> I don't know what's scary here. I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out. This is the same guy that made a rocket-powered go-kart. And lawnmower. Yep. That lawnmower fucking schmooved. Fucking, fucking cut across three lawns before I was halfway down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I did your lawn, Jenkins! <laughs> no, look, stream, it was bad. Dad, or Dan heard me scream from outside the house. It's going too fast! <laughs> Next thing you know, he's just fucking gone. <laughs> I still have the, the, the video Steve sent me is fucking hilarious. He's talking. He's talking to me. He's like, he, he showed me, like, he sent the video to my phone. He's like, so I hear him talking. He's like, yeah, I know. So I just put Mike on the on the uh, rocket powered uh, lawnmower. Next thing you hear is the lawnmower start up. <laughs> he runs that side. Michael's already halfway down the street. That thing it has was... to get up and go. <laughs> Didn't the go kart like? <laughs> Just like... The go kart was even faster though. That was fucking funny. That was that was a that was a thing. It can't compare to the one I made in Saints Row though. That thing fucking goes. The stream there has been two rocket powered things in my life, both of which. Dan has heard and seen and laughed at. Because it's funny when Steve just attaches jet engines to shit. Now let me tell you about the golf cart. Because Steve is a fucking madman. Dan saw me wreck the golf cart. But you stood right back up <laughs> and said that was awesome. <laughs> so, we're down at my grandparents' house. They live on... Uh, I, well, I mean, a tree was involved, but I didn't exactly blow it up. <laughs> she was on fire afterwards. <laughs> so, there's this hill. <laughs> that I didn't see coming. Because I forgot about it. So, I got the fucking golf cart up to 60 mile an hour. And luckily, Dad improved the brakes. Yeah, he put air brakes on it. So, I'm, I'm fucking... I'm getting up to speed. I'm laughing. I'm having a good old time. And then I see the ground slowly start to leave. <laughs> so I slam on the brakes I jump out the golf cart the fucking golf cart goes sailing my ass goes sailing <laughs> I fucking do a swan I fucking do a swanton bomb <laughs> <laughs> I land flat back down at the bottom of the hill the golf, the golf cart's completely destroyed <laughs> It was like, just a there burning, were... it was a burning pile of nothing. Like, there, there was no salvage in this golf cart. It was 110% done. <laughs> Dad gets to the bottom of the hill, he's fucking hooting and hollering, saying that was awesome. I'm just staring up at the sea the stars, wondering what the <laughs> fuck hit me. 
Oh, stream, I've gotten up to some crazy antics. Mm-hmm. Dan's been here for most of them. Craziest thing I ever did was in my early teenagers when I played Ding Dong Ditch and a guy walked out with a gun. Oh? <laughs> yeah. He chased us yeah, down yeah. the street for a good minute. Well, yeah, Shooting yeah. his... It was me and a couple of old high school friends. We 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 were we were stupid teens. So we're like, oh, we're gonna play ding dong ditch in the not nice neighborhood. Uh -huh. First house we do, we do it. We run. And we hear, you motherfuckers. So we're bolting down the street. This guy's running after us with a 44. Oh. If he survives the beating the men gave him, yeah. we'll sell him a No one got hurt, but uh, he shot in the air a few times. Hey, what? <laughs> that was it. I'll rally the troops. Uh it wasn't fun. Because we were we were running for like a good ten minutes. This guy was fucking built too. Like this guy was a fucking like he was a good. Like imagine Hulk but bigger. Huh? Like this guy was like nearly seven foot, three hundred and fifty pounds of pure man. Like, this guy was built. Well, in your case, it was pure mad. Okay. That too. You could have sworn he was on roids. Oh boy. Just with the amount of. Uh... Yeah, he, he wasn't he wasn't a happy camper with any of us after that night. Because about a week later, they uh, my friend called. He's like, "So you know that house we hit?" He's like, "Yeah." I say, "Yeah," and he's like, uh, "Well, they're uh, he's putting cameras up at his house." I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't happy with me. Like, that's about as crazy as I've ever gotten. I, I don't have any rocket-powered anything to, to regale you with. But okay. I, I've lived that dangerous so, life. So, stream, I'm going to tell you guys this now. Dad's got a project going, and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> so, he went down to the scrapyard. Oh, I see where this is going. You found a Camaro SS with a wheelie bar. So that was a drag car. Uh huh. What happened to the beggar? Was the motor still in it? Uh huh. Big block? Uh huh. Yes! So the motor has been rebuilt. Mm -hmm. And. Well, it would have to if it was in a scrapyard. Um. It's, uh, how, how do I put it? It has an upgrade. Oh, do you just put uh, a spin turbo in it? <laughs> nah, skit. Ah, yeah, that thing's gonna fucking just shake the whole area just by idling. So, it, it's got the big block Chevy. It's got a, uh, Scrooge supercharger rather than a turbo. That's fair. Uh, oh yeah, I guess the supercharger would be better for that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Dad gave me the keys. And, were you uh, down at the, uh, were you down at the, uh, strip? Uh-huh. Upa, I will get you out. And I, I, I will let you guess what time it did. I want to say somewhere between 7 and 8. 5.5. I almost have just had the seat in it. He stripped everything guy. out. Help me. Put in a... Uh, I can ensure he dies. Make your race safe, so you put in the uh, wheelie bar in the cage. Mm -hmm. But uh, th th this thing moves. 
I think I have to have a fiberglass body as well. We don't know. Out of the way. That's what I'm thinking. We we honestly do not know. Like the body was solid. Like there was nothing wrong with it. There was like no rust. Because it was under like a uh, awning. Well, the only reason why I say it has a fiberglass body because there was no real way would a regular body be able to pull 5.5. Is he hot? Banged up, bruised, dusty. Soldiers do not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where's your father, Kawa? You must speak of this. Father is away on his great work. Mother, grandfather is home. Dan, can you Sometimes check my stream? Is my camera on? Again. Yeah, your camera's on. Father, ah, shit. What have you done this time? You were right. supposed to be on. I hope he can help me. I wasn't planning on it, but I guess I'll move it and put it on. I can protect your family. Let me go nonsense. move it. Everyone knows My bad stream if the quality is a little, a little shoddy for the most part. He wants you to right, there we go. read them. My apologies. Uh, it looks like this scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods, that is where my husband is. Well, the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband Tahaka has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. Yeah, of course I will, Kawa. My informant was beaten, and his goods, mine really, taken from him. The parasite who did this is near. Do me a favor, Bayek. Deal with them slowly. Then take whatever you find as your reward. My apologies, stream. I didn't realize my camera was still plugged in. I was gonna go non-camera, but I don't know. Here we are. So I apologize for like the first couple minutes of the stream as my camera was a little wonky. Still getting used to her. Damn, what are you playing? Huh? So what are you playing? Huh? <laughs> what are you playing? I ain't playing playing nothing. Not not a not a, not a thing. Oh, if you're tired, go ahead and go to bed. Uh, did... No. Oh fuck that. Dutch oven, that's gonna be fun in a second. <laughs> oh, big time. There it is. Dan, uh, did you have did you have cheese again? <laughs> what the hell did you eat that's making you so gassy? I didn't eat anything, dog. And you didn't have any snacks this time? Uh, I had snacks, but not like snack snacks, you know? What the hell is a snack snack? You know what I mean. What? 
Not like, really. I didn't, no, I didn't have anything cheesy. If oh. that's what you're asking. What did you have? Uh, okay, no, there were mozzarella sticks, so I kind of lied. But... So you did have cheese. Well, not like... You know what? Oh. What? What do you want me to say? I'm trying to, like, find my words, dog. So what you're saying is you had cheese, but you didn't engorge yourself on said cheese? Yes, I limited my cheese inhalation. It doesn't help that I'm, doesn't help that I have a beer in my hand. I'm allowed to, my, Opal. My shabalab ding dong. I am not Mike. Don't you lump me into this? I'm loving you into this because you drank two and you can't fucking deny it. Don't you lump me into this? He did, that's the thing. He has. I... Yes? Hey, I'm allowing it. That's the problem. I'm allowing it. So if you, whatever you say to him, you say to me. My liver is doing, my liver is doing fine. His liver is doing fine. He told me this the other day. I've already he... had it looked at up in the clear. He had a beer. He said he felt fine. And it was the same time I had a beer and I felt fine. At this point, me and Mike are just so in tune our livers get fixed at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really all I got. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still starting to think we were separated at birth. Oh, that's that's what your mom says. They shipped him off to Canada because they couldn't afford the food bill. <laughs> <laughs> I talk to Steve, he calls me son. Okay, that surprised me about Obel. So I, I fucking go upstairs, right? And he looks me dead in the face. He's like, Dr. Granddaughter yet? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I'm like, which one? Do I have a kid I'm not aware of? Like, yeah, Opal. I'm like, how do you yeah. know about that? He's like, I know things, son. I'm like, huh. Dad knows things. I'm like, well then. Dad is a smart cookie. Dad scares me. He really fucking does. Dad, dad, no. Dad. No. No. I mean, he watches my stream, so I'm guessing that's how he did it? That would be the only way I would see it. But then, then again, it's it's my dad. So... I wouldn't put anything past him. God, this is a big frickin' map. It's Egypt. It's Egypt, Mike. It's gonna be big. I mean, Valhalla gives you Norway, Ireland, England, a part of France. Oh. Guy. 
Okay. I suspect the sarcophagus was transported by cart. It is inscribed to the mark of circuit, the okay. scorpion goddess. But where is the body? Okay. See ya! Someone came here with a heavily laden cart. Bye. Left the same way. Though the yep. second track looks lighter. Bye. Ah, oh, she's a good kid. Not too good for a couple of old guys like us. Yeah, sure. Deserve to be dragged underwater by these hippos. And it appears you are prepared for the afterlife by a clumps of thumbs. Where's your liver? Poor man. You did not deserve to be dragged underwater by these hippos. And it appears you are prepared for the afterlife by a clumsy butcher with no thumbs. Where's your liver? I still have two quests this away. I also have you. What are you gonna play, buddy? I don't know. I, don't know. Nah, I haven't really thought about it. I might just chill. Cool. Alright stream, this is uh gonna be my first take of this bounty hunter. Oh I like the bounty hunters in Origins, those are fun. Especially when you had especially in the Hidden Ones DLC where you had to fight the Shadow of the Scarab. Well. Yeah. Uh you remember the scarab who he very much buries you in sand and leaves you for dead. Uh in the DLC there are these uh enemies called the Shadows of the Scarab. And they're there's like four of them and they're bounty hunters and they're coming after you. Ooh. And there's a little uh, little cutscene after you beat after you kill them all. I won't spoil it for you. Looking forward to it. I highly recommend playing the Hidden Ones DLC because that one's really fucking good. Now, do you recommend I do it before or? It's after the, the main uh... story. It's it's set, it takes place after the main story. Whoa. So do the main story first, huh? Both DLCs take place after the main story. Okay. Cause if you go to activate the DLC it boosts your character to level forty five. Oh. Well that's not good. Yeah. Cause you have to be level forty five to take on the quests. Huh. That was pretty close. That was like forty something when I boosted my level, so 
I didn't find. I didn't have a problem with it. Did you already complete your story? Yeah, I completed everything I could. Because as I as I as I did it, I would complete each area before taking on the main story quest in the area. Gotcha. That's how I kind of did it, and by the end, I was pretty powerful. All right, stream. Here we go. I did the I did the same in Odyssey, but it felt like I was always like lacking. Oh, that bunny hunter is fucking your shit up. He's my best weapon for me, too. Is he... Know. is he too high for your level, or is he just... He's being annoying? He's level 20. He's literally only level 20, or whatever. Maybe I need to upgrade some gear or something. Who knows? Uh, you might want to upgrade gear because that will, in the end, give you power. I know upgrading your hidden blade is pretty much essential if you want to start killing folk in stealth. I uh, don't remember if the gauntlets increase attack power. Oh, uh, maybe your gear is a little melee. outdated. Eh, might be my gear. Let's see what it takes to uh, upgrade a piece of my weaponry. You can either upgrade it or find something else. Well, the reason I'm using this uh, staff is it creates me poison on a hit. Yeah, it has a poison Hello, augment. How can I help you? I think I used 41, that 20. Holy shit. Yeah, you might want to upgrade that. Need it will you. only help you. Alright. So. Alright. Sold. Mm. Sold. Mm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Goodbye. 
I think I'm gonna have to try to upgrade myself. Yeah, upgrading your armor will grant you more health. If need be, I just challenge these guys whenever I have a uh, higher level than them. I mean, if you're looking for upgrade materials, hunting's the best way to do it. Or you can buy them in stores. That's how I do a lot of my upgrading. I invested in the uh, buying upgrade. Clear the way. At the ready. Clear the way. What manner of fool? Oi. Okay, we got two more places to head up. Good over there, buddy? What? So are you good over there? Yeah, it's looking like a whore in church. I turn off the heater. Furnace came on. Uh -huh. And it's an oil furnace, so. Hey, <laughs> yikes. And that shit burns hot. Oh, oh, duh. Yeah, but we have like a fire pit, we have oil furnace, electric heating. <laughs> Jesus. Actually, you have to have more, you have to have at least three forms of heating in your house, or it won't be like safety properly. Who came up with that safety code? Uh, because it's Nova Scotia. And when it snows, it it fucking snows. <laughs> so if you don't have sufficient heating in your house home, it's not properly safety. It's the same in Newfoundland. And PEI. Well, Mostly the never. It's Woodley? like it. No, it's only like Maritimes. Uh huh. The places by the water. Yeah. If a land PEI, I think oh, parts of Labrador. Who the fuck came up with your city names? Uh, Cabot came up with Newfoundland. John Cabot, the explorer who founded it. As for everything else, I don't know. Christopher Columbus? <laughs> I don't know. Did he come and take all our land? All I know is that Cabot found Newfoundland, and he literally called it Newfoundland. So if you want to blame anything, blame Cabot. Oh, 
Dan, if there's any point, you need to go get some sleep. Go for it. Oh, I'm fine. The start up, Alhalla. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Doing a male Avor playthrough. Oh, are you? Mm, yeah. I have to say, I like it. male Avor's voice actor way more than female Avor. <laughs> I was fucking say, female Avor or something, she smokes 60 packs a day? Uh, uh, more than 60 packs, like fucking chain smoker, like a fucking chimney. So I gave him like, a big bushy beard, cool like, Celtic hair. This guy looks like, huh? this guy looks like he'll fuck your day. Are you doing a uh, full run through with all the DLCs too, or? Oh yeah, yeah, of course I'm gonna play the fucking Wrath of the Druids and go to my home. I think my least favorite DLC is uh, the France one. If I had to choose a DLC, I didn't really like. My play has been confiscated. You are attracting trouble. It just felt like there was too much busy work for that one. All among the finest poets of Alexandria. They I'm going to get my dire links. Put on the play. I will be put to death. Be careful, Panos. Dire links. You stick to writing. I write a big cat. <laughs> you can't get a pussy this big. <laughs> I can't get pussy at all. Neither can I. Oh, well, I mean, I can, but it's always attached to crazy. And what do I always say? Never put your dick in crazy. In crazy. And if it doesn't fit, force it. That's a good one. My god, man. What? What the hell? What? It's oh, helped me god. out. If you can't fit a square peg into a circular hole, keep trying. I was going to say, your ex-girlfriend was pretty petite. What? I said your ex-girlfriend was pretty petite. I mean, yeah, she was like five foot and nothing. Like a hundred pounds soaking wet. I swear I took her anywhere, everyone thought she was like a daughter. <laughs> Or a little sister or something, I'm like, <laughs> let me tell you a story <laughs> about how wrong you are. I bet you hated going to the mall. I really did, and she always wanted to go to the mall. Originally, she found out, she's like, oh, okay, I'll just go by myself. I'm glad you finally understand. <laughs> Like, I'm not going anywhere, honey bunches. Draw 
attract you. My thanks. God bless you. Rouse yourself! Trouble here! As I ride on my legs through the valley of death, I look at my leg. Oh. <laughs> I'm sitting here living in a fucking paradise. <laughs> what the fuck? Pillaging and taking life. <laughs> Roughly here. Living oh. in a fucking paradise. No. I'm fucking done. <laughs> oh, fuck. I gotta start writing this shit down. You ready. Thank you so much. I've got to get out of here. What? Hey, it's not a bloody See you suffer by that. Diamond girl. Give me a hand over here. Now, my big Lynx friend, you seeing me killing that Lynx, are you hostile? No, okay, cool. I know I killed, like, your little Lynx friend. His name was Lynxington. I get it. Lynxington? Don't ask questions. Shh. I'll immortalize you in point if you get me out of here. Ah, carry to save them. An experience like no other. Will you be still? Linksington? Shh. Is that what you seriously called him? Shh. Ah, this reminds me of my youth on stage. I was an excellent. Linksington? Shut up! <laughs> I pray you be quiet. Why that name? I don't fucking know! Oh my god, I am gonna shoot you! I'm trying to wrap my head around the name! I didn't call it Big Lynx Linksington, I'm calling the Little Lynx Linksington! What the hell did you call the Big Lynx? Nothing! That's Thank rude. You. But there are two more. Oh my God. I'm, about to, I'm about to call you something. And Adios Vilakitai seek to kill them. They also took the play and headed toward the palace. If it lands in the wrong hands, Thanos will be in danger. Do you know where the actors hide? They're home, not far from here. Don't worry about me, I'll find my way back to the theater.
stream. I'm gonna have that fucking name stuck on my head. I thought it was clever. Same. But a pain. I'm just surprised. You are... What? That I actually came up with something clever? That my brain can actually do something right? You can say nothing. There you go. Then say nothing. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it now. Do it. Do it. So, Give now that it's 2023, uh, for those of you who are only watching this later, what, uh, what games are you excited to be released? I know what I'm excited for, and it involves a world of wizards. Mm, Harry Potter, huh? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be fun. I think we're gonna be able to go to Azkaban. Mm. Stay there. Stuff like that. That I'm, I'm a big, I was a big Harry Potter nerd growing up. Watched most of the movies. I think the last one I watched was The Goblet of Fire. Read a lot of the books. Played a lot of the really bad games. <laughs> I mean, Lego Harry Potter was okay, but yeah, like along with like Star Wars and stuff, like it was Harry Potter. Jedi Survivor looks good. So ready for Jedi Survivor and Breath of the Wild too. Oh, is that coming in 2023? I believe it is coming in 2023, called Tears of the Kingdom. Uh -huh. It looks lit. I'm actually very excited for that one, too. Now, you said Persona's getting a port? Uh, Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden are coming in on the 19th. We already have Persona 5 Royal on the Xbox. Persona finally makes its debut on the Xbox with the worst Persona 3 port and the better Persona 4 port. Going to cleave something. Where is that Persona 3 portable is it's not bad. Hey, what but it doesn't play like Persona except for like the Tartarus section when you're in the, the main dungeon of the game. But the rest of it's kinda like menus and visual novels and it's not very appealing. But the story is still like there, it's all there. Never played a Persona game in my life. No, I would recommend starting with four if you were really looking into it. It's a turn-based JRPG with like some life simulation stuff. Now you get to go to school, make friends, all that fun stuff. You get to hang out with, and you get some really cool party members and all cool abilities and stuff. Isn't there supposed to be two of you? He fled, and accidentally brought the guards to me. They hunt me like a dog. If you could deal with them, I can return to Phanos, and our masterpiece will go on. Be calm. You will be out of here quickly. Of course. I will be as silent as... Be still. I think I hear them. Huh? You know, you are perfectly Phanos type. I have no idea what you speak of. You are a perfect brooding hero. A grand story until the gods smack him down mightily for his temerity. That is not helpful. But such a tragedy this will be. All will be pushed to tears. That's a beautiful language. Everyone's here speaking Gaelic. Wait, you're a young Wrath of the Druids? Yeah, I started this as soon as I felt like I was ready to take it on. How long ago did you start your playthrough? I want to get my Druid armor. I want, not my Druid armor, my Celtic armor, though. Thank you, friend. I'm sure Capanios will find us eventually. He always does. I meant, how long ago did you start your playthrough? About 30 hours ago? Damn. 
I thought so you just started. No. And I already have my sickle. Nice. I love this fucking sickle. Go into the theater and work. Getting our drama. Did it, Bayek. Thank you. I never. All right, stream. I'll talk to you later.